Jackie Kelly, the IPO pipeline has been awfully slow in the third quarter, only 30 so far versus 86 last year. So what's the problem? You know, it's, uh, you know, the third quarter, actually we're having a repeat almost of what happened in the first quarter in that volatility slowed everything down. And volatility is the enemy of the IPO markets. You know, we're having issues while well, we've been strung along by what's going to happen with interest rates. We had the China markets close, and that had a rippling effect throughout all the markets around the world. So, you know, as these things stabilize, hopefully we'll be back in action soon. And what kind of an indicator, an economic indicator, uh, are IPOs for the overall economy? Well, you know, I mean, IPOs are a big driver of, of momentum in the economy, and we all want to see exciting entrepreneurial businesses make it to the markets. I mean, there's some great names out there in technology we're all following closely. You know, that said, I, I think what we're seeing is, you know, a, a short, hopefully a short-term lull here, and we'll get back to business shortly. Well, we'll talk about those exciting names like Uber and Airbnb in a second. But right now, I want to find out what this means for the investment banks, which make a lot of money taking these companies public, as well as the exchanges where they list and trade. Yeah, I mean... This is obviously very important to those and to everyone that plays in the ecosystem, including EY. I mean, we're all very much vested in getting these companies to the market. That said, you know, our business, these businesses, they're all very diversified right now. And so when IPOs aren't hot, people are doing M&A deals and follow-on work and, and working with the public companies in the market today. All right. Well, we expect more tech IPOs because they get all the attention, but we've only seen one. Tech IPOs are at a seven-year low. What does this mean for Silicon Valley? I know it's still hot out there, but you're not getting that throughput, I suppose. Well, you know, although tech IPOs are a little soft at the moment, I mean, they're still definitely lining up in the pipeline. We hear about, you know, um, a number of companies getting ready to go public, and we're working with them behind the scenes. I think the important thing to know with a lot of the technology companies, especially the hot ones today, is that these companies are growing and building with private investment. I mean, there's been talks about private IPOs, right? It, you know, it's not exactly that, but what's great, and I think it's a positive thing, is that private money is going in, helping these companies mature, so when they do come to the markets, they're solid. So when can we expect these so-called unicorns, these private companies with private valuations over a billion dollars, when are we gonna see them in the market ringing the bell across the street? Well, I, you know, I'm hoping within a, in 12 months we'll start to see start to see this come out. I mean, we have over 100 unicorns. I don't know if the latest counts, 130 plus, you know, around the world, and many of those are in the U.S. and many are in Silicon Valley. And in the meantime, we're seeing lots of private equity uh, players bring companies back to the market. So things that were taken under are now going to be taken back public again. So what does that mean for private equities? Is that going to free up a lot of money for them well, to go shopping again? <laughs> well, that that's absolutely right. There's been a there's a lot of money in private equity. We what we call dry powder out there. It's it's sitting in the large corporates as well. Everybody wants to invest in innovation. Anything that's technology enabled is hot these days. Any company that's even thinking going public um, when they put the, the word out there that they're, they're going to IPO, they become they come up on the radar screen for private investors all over the world. And some of them are going to get snatched up out of that process. Um, I think that private equity, though, you know, they got a lot of their deals out. They have a lot of money right now. They are reinvesting it, but there's still more out there. We haven't seen as much activity from, from retail. We haven't seen as much activity in, in financial services. And I think we're going to see more of those PE-backed IPOs coming out. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Jackie. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.